and welcome to Inside EVs. It's a rainy day here at our studio and we have something super interesting. We have a Model Y that's built to go over landing and a little bit of off-roading, soft-roading, not like crazy rock crawling, but we're gonna see how much it can handle today. It is, again, raining, we're going trail riding. So join me and let's just go see what we can do ro rolling around in the Model Y on some dirt and definitely some mud. So this is the Model Y and this is the owner. This is Brian. He has an awesome Tesla YouTube channel called I1 Tesla, if you couldn't tell. Definitely make sure you check out the build series on this car because he, he goes through everything that he's done to upgrade and outfit this thing. The first thing you'll notice is this really cool texturized wrap. It's sort of rough to the touch. It's really amazing. Of course, it's on some Martian wheels. We love Martian wheels for Tesla products. And uh, on some crazy Toyo off-roading tires, he's also built in this internal air compressor. You can see this little system. So what he's doing here is we are lowering the tire pressures. What do you think we're gonna lower them to? Probably 25. 25 PSI for a little bit of off-roading. That's just gonna let the tire expand under the vehicle's pressure so you have more contact patch touching the ground. So before we run out and hit the trails, let me run down the highlights of why this vehicle is a little different than just your standard Model Y. Well, it's actually a Model Y Performance. It's on the Performance suspension, but it has lifters, so a little block to raise it up about two inches. And then he's got some massive beefy Toyo tires that I showed you. We're gonna lower the tire pressures down to 25 PSI. It is already covered in some mud over here because we did a little testing, of course, just to see how well it would do in the dry last night. And uh, we found some great water crossings that I imagine are only gonna be crazier today. <laughs> I think if you just stay in it, it'll do it. Yep, keeping it. <laughs> yeah. That bridge is sketchy. Look at these giant holes. I didn't see that before. I, I know we didn't want you to see it. <laughs> I was thinking, do I tell him or do I just let him go for it? Anyway, still the smart car is the ultimate electric off-roader. I like your car, but this thing's still my beast. So we have a roof cop, rooftop carrier that Brian built himself with these crazy embedded lights. I'll show you in the car. He has one app on a tablet that runs everything from the air compressor to the lights. It's really, really cool. And um, yes, autopilot still works. Yes, it's still stupid fast. It's really an awesome build. So this is a device that hooks up to the brains of this whole system, which controls the compressor, controls the lights up top, and I can toggle through anything I need on this and I can add more things to it. But right now the compressor, it shows the tire pressure is at 21. I have a target temperature or pressure at 25. Just turn it on. Oops, gotta hit the pressure control and it's gonna read the tire pressure and stop at that 25. We're just heading down to the track, not to rip any laps, but to get to the off-roading trails. And they are straight ahead, just on the other side of that barrier, off in the distance. Well, we're already off-roading more than most Model Y owners would ever do. <laughs> Let's take a look here. We have 25 PSI and off-road assist enabled. It's like track mode for old version. It's just one setting. It's real bumpy, just off-road assist. There's no adjustment, unfortunately, but you do get off-road up here and it does say traction control is off. So we're gonna go just to the left of these uh, 
uh, barriers here for our first and quite aggressive obstacle that we have to get through. Okay, we're here at our first obstacle. I'm gonna film this. And what you can see here behind me is two really deep rutted tracks. And then we've put some wood down the middle so you can kind of get some wheels up because the other side just falls in massively. So let's see how the Model Y does it. I'm certainly not gonna walk across. Brian's gonna have to turn around and pick me back up. Here we go. Well, that worked out quite well. The car had pretty good ground clearance. Uh, it did scrape a little bit going on the, uh, the rutted rocks over here, or I should say on the wooden pallet. But other than that, worked out perfectly fine. And uh, he just carried some speed. Here he comes again. Let's watch to see how he does. <laughs> that just looks so cool. I love it. Can't wait for more. When Brian was turning around, I didn't notice, but he had slid on the mud into a tree and damaged the tailgate. Oh, off-roading battle scar number one. Yeah, but you know what? According to Tesla, that's in spec, isn't it? That is uh, as delivered. Yeah. Deeper into the trails, I'm going to ride through on this obstacle now. <laughs> <laughs> That was gnarly. There's the tree that you hit yeah, it was somewhere gnarly. around here. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be real slick through here. Look at these deep ruts. It's handling it just fine, though. Yeah, these tires seem to be really nice, and especially with all the air out of them, it's mm -hmm. super comfortable. Yeah, you can it's feel it around. slipping around in the mud. This, I mean, this is straight slick clay mud through here big water crossing let's hit it hard <laughs> that was awesome uh, another one another one a little one but this is so cool and we're in complete silence yeah i am so impressed with how it's just plowing through this deep so that's the skid plate doing its job there yeah, I wish we had a stock one to compare it to, but I think those stock tires would not have gotten no, this far in. No, not at all. <laughs> Making a 17 point turn over a giant ridge. <laughs> there's a little tree there. Yeah, there's a little tree. Don't want to hit the other side. No, that is the oh, that's the side. Oh, then you're fine. There's also one in front of us. Yeah, we're pulling in Austin Powers in the middle of the woods <laughs> right here. So every time we get out of the car, or I actually get out of the seat. I can open the door and put it in park, and it doesn't change out of off-road mode. But every time we get back in the car, I have to go to driver or driving and then off-road assist. It kind of sucks. We should be able to put that into like a profile, leave it on. It should be able to stay on until we want to toggle it off. Right. This is also for all the test non Tesla owners. That's not stock. Yeah. That's a modification. Yeah. This whole car is not stock. Right. <laughs> Riding around in the Y, it's just amazing how comfortable it is watching trees just, you know, totally like this. We just drove through a tree. There it goes. <laughs> it's crazy. It's just, it's super strong. This wrap that Brian has on there is, is protecting the car because it's a wrap on top of paint protection film. And it's comfortable and it's just a nice, uh, nice car to drive around off road for sure. It's kind of like a Range Rover out yeah. here. Well, it's certainly pretty dirty. I think most of it's just water. Yeah, that was a nice bath. 
<laughs> wow. Doing a lot of Austin Powers turns here in the woods. Because the tires are so big, it kind of rubs it at full tilt. So it doesn't like to do it. All right, now he's gonna rally the other way. Here we go. <laughs> Brian's gonna floor it up this hill from a rolling, I think we need to back up. Yeah, we need to back up. I'm just seeing how much water. <laughs> this there. is this is not just a little hill on video. I mean, this is about five Model Ys yeah. stacked up right here. And uh, it's really coming down now too. <laughs> I think it's gonna be real slippery. So it's gonna need a lot of speed and a lot of power. This thing has that? Yes. Wow. <laughs> this is gonna be wild. I'm locked in, here we go. Oh boy, holy sh <laughs> <laughs> That was nuts! A little faster than yesterday. <laughs> oh, it's like super Whoa. slick up here too. Whoa. This clay is gnarly. It's like ice. <laughs> Off-road mode's letting you have some fun though, isn't it? Well, am I getting stuck over here? If you slow down, you might get stuck. You gotta keep the momentum up. It's just letting it spin. Look at the tracks that we're making here. This is crazy. I don't want to stop up here. No. We're going to go right back down. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going straight down. I feel like I'm on a Disney World ride, except we're not on rails. We're on mud. Okay. Holy sh**. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So we're going to test off-road assist on this grassy hill. This is off-road assist off so that's just normal you can see it trying to figure out where to put power okay so it got stuck there and <laughs> there goes brian <laughs> we're not joking it's very slippery and now he's going to put off-road assist on and here we go we should see more wheel slip well now we got mud in the tires <laughs> okay so Based off of this test, off-road assist doesn't do anything. However, what happened was we dug down into the clay and that's why it won't go anywhere. Looks cool like that though. <laughs> that's off-road assist. Yeah, you just got clay in your tires. You all have no traction. Yeah. And now we're just cruising some of our easy trails, heading back. We'll have a couple more water crossings and that'll be the end of a little soft roading shakedown in the Model Y. Here comes some mud, it looks like. I think we're gonna need some speed for this one, Brian. Here we go. Skid plate coming in handy. Yep. <laughs> Those are some deep ruts. Yeah. Off-roading Model Y in reverse. That's a world's first right there. <laughs> Yeah. I'm your Uber. Oh, great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let me check your license plate. Make sure you're the guy. Yep. Checks out. That's my Uber. Thank you. Full throttle. <laughs> Yikes. It's so slippery. The car is yeah. just getting moved around. There's like no brakes. Yeah. We're just along for the ride. <laughs> obstacle. This is what we came in on? This is what we came okay. in on. So I gotta stay to that side. Wait a minute, what is that plastic thing? That goes to my car. Does it? Yeah. Did you lose a piece <laughs> of your car? <laughs> That's for the back of the suspension that covers Oh the... yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should get that before I run over it again. I think so. <laughs> and that seems to be like a great place to leave it off. Broken parts, damaged trunk, mud everywhere, pouring rain, lots of slipping tires. I'd say that's a successful shakedown of a 
fairly aggressive setup on a Model Y. Lift kit, big knobby tires, and the built-in off-road assist doing its job to get us through some of this real mud terrain. Anyway, pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to Inside EVs for more, and we will see you on the next episode.